I just missed the good thunder clap. I mean, it's hit close. And you can see the road, the gravel roads, standing water on them. The ruts are almost pretty much washed out way. And here's the kicker. It is uh, 1122. <clears throat> and tonight we could have one to three inches of snow on the ground on top of this. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, Iowa weather, it's just as messed up as the rest of the world. Uh, dirt motors in short block form, all pistons are in. It's kind of nice, I'm get my table back here. Uh, Shed a little light on the subject. And the old hunting tr truck motor. I gotta get a new roof on this place too because I keep. I got a couple of leaks yet. And I think you guys heard that one. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, Mother Nature's even unhappy. <sighs> anyway, so after I got the race motor in short block form, <laughs> I uh, have the camberings and a crank installed in my old motor. Which I think I'm going to just convert back to being an old 69 motor and not put the little, uh, let's see, and not put this back on. That's the adapter to change it to a passenger side dipstick. I did get some new bolts. And there should be another one. Well, there's the bolts. Okay, there's the bolts. Hmm, there should have been two of those laying there. Uh, I don't know. Huh. I don't know where that went. Maybe I'd, uh, I don't know, maybe that other one's still in the... That's got me wondering. Not there. Oh, there it is. There's the other one. Goodson used to sell those to convert blocks back in the day. So, okay. It is round. Anyway, uh, I've showed many times on how to put camberings in and everything. So I didn't show the camberings going into that one. Test fitted the cam. Got it. There you fit. And the crank that was in that motor is right there. And she's pretty rough. You can see there, it needed turn. And uh, I just took another one of the cranks from the core motor, one of those core motors, and put it in there. So I had the bearings to fit it. It was a 1020 crank. Yeah. Yeah. So, and the pistons are right here. The brown box. So, I want to make sure they didn't get dirty. Get them cleaned up. Find the rings I got for that. Start ringing those, and I might check the ring gaps just to be safe. But that's just going to be another. Throw it in a pickup or a car or something, drive motor. So, and when, when I built that years ago, I didn't even grab the rings. But we'll see. Got a little bit of a headache today. I noticed I slept wrong last night. I had my 
pillow all bunched up and my head cockeyed, so. Ah, uh, yeah. So I'm just out here doing parts and I'm still waiting for parts and I haven't got a notice saying that the parts ain't going to be sent, but, uh, oh. There, I've seen things where they've said they're going to stop sending uh, products because the virus can live on its surface for a while, so. I'm afraid before this is all over and done, we're going to be at a complete standstill and nothing's going to happen. And so, one racetrack has suspended racing for a minimum of eight weeks. Oh boy. So, it's going to be a rather short and quick race season this year if it goes that way. But who knows, maybe they'll get a handle on this sooner than what we think. But anyway, uh... Yeah. Oh, now you tell us it was lightning. Hmm, yeah. Anyway, I guess I'm going to probably work on that motor today. I'm trying to get parts out of my way and get stuff together. And Like I said, I'm waiting for parts for this. They didn't show yesterday. And so far... Yeah, we still got a little time. So, we'll see. Anyway, I'm going to get to work. That's all a person can do. Got to have something to do to keep from going nuts. <laughs> oh, wait a second. <laughs> well, I had the ruts washed away. Son-in-law brought me out something to drink and he needed a break from the house, but... A lot of people are needing breaks from the house, so hey, that's why I'm making videos. Give seven cents to everybody watch. You know, I did not do a step by step on this. This is that motor with those 40 over special pistons in. But there will be more on this because over in that mess lays another one with those same pistons. Found out the story on those, so yep. But, um, for the ones of you that, I did get new filters, <laughs> so, that, that helps with the dust in the nose and all that. So, yeah, this is where we're at, and unfortunately, I'm out of head gaskets. I got looking, I'm out of head gaskets. I've used everything up. I've got open gaskets and valve covers. But no head gaskets for anything. So there's that side. Just show you guys. They're all in. And you know, this is a B20, a 70. Yeah, 70. So this was a late 69, early 70s motor because it's got the cast iron right there. And I had the adapter. Uh, what I think I'm going to do is get two pl Allen plugs that are the right size because I think those go through to the water jacket and uh, and if they don't then I'll, I'm still going to plug it put plugs in there so that way I know that doesn't leak and I'm just going to make that back to a regular 350 which in the oil pan that was sent to me right there We'll go on that motor. Kind of nice to get my cart back. Dirt motor's there. Uh, call the place. They still will ship. We get them paid. I'll get the money to them for the parts. They will ship them, and they said they should still be delivered. As we're getting new uh, springs for that. As we just realized, we got 35 nights on those springs, so. We got lucky. Really lucky. So, and they're going to come from the same place that I got we got the camshaft from. So that way I know everything's matched. We're good to go. So, yeah. Uh, thunderstorm, sharp lightning this morning. Shook the building quite a bit. Now the temperature's dropping. And I guess there was 
son-in-law said when he was here a little bit ago, there was a severe thunderstorm or tornado watch south of us. <laughs> Mother Nature's even having a f fury with things. Um, did have a food bank we could have went to tonight, but uh, my daughter went. And with the shortage of everything, the food bank's not, it wasn't worth, most stuff they were giving away is stuff we don't eat. Which I know in trying times you can't be picky, but uh, I still got to watch it because of my diabetes. Um, and mostly the stuff they were giving away was stuff I really shouldn't be eating. Uh... But yeah, we just going. Uh, I think tomorrow's motor is going to be wrapping up that 383 for that guy. Push rods got here, and uh, yeah. Well, I guess we'll see where everything's at. And yeah, and also I got to go. I gotta go back through all these last two motors I've put together. Well, I've got a bunch. Actually, I've got three, five, six motors. And this is where it's kind of bites for me. And I, I didn't get them finished when I was working on them. So now I gotta go back and recheck the mate. Well, five. I know the 383. I torqued that right away uh, when I put that together that had some different bolts to it so I did that one right away but these others that are mine uh, except for the race motor that's not mine but uh, I know where I'm at on that and uh, I just got to double check everything uh, this one here if I had the head gaskets I could throw those on and I do have a set of, a couple sets of intake gaskets I could use on that and I could have had that, well, I can't put the intake on because I don't have a cam lifters for that for sure. I do have one here, but if I use it, then the studs are going to pull out of the heads and the springs won't be strong enough. So, um, we'll figure it out. But yeah, I'm just, oh, in a uh, squirrel and... Mama Bear went to the doctor, and uh, Mama Bear didn't get to go in the building. Squirrel did. As soon as she went in the do door, uh, thermometer, before they'd let her enter the building. And Mama Bear told her, well, since I can't go and ask the doctor, uh, I guess that, was, that big mass they took out of her was the cyst. Nothing funky in it, no signs of cancer, no nothing. So, it was clean. It was just a growth that grew in her for some reason. So, and one percent chance that it might happen again. Um, so yeah, so, so squirrel got a good report today, which we were starting to get a little nervous. But and they said when they got into the cyst, there was nothing strange. So that's good. That's very good. So. Got a little good news amongst all this uh, chaos going on. Uh, I don't know. It gets nice. We might have to fire that 80 up and let some freedom ring around here. Make some noise. It's just, now well, the wind's made up for the lack of noise. Now that it's here, it's rattling everything and blowing everything around. No, I don't. Uh, <laughs> it's just my time of year. Uh, I'm feeling fine. I'm doing good. But yeah, we might fire up that 80 over and let her run a little more and just have some noise around here. See, this motor here had that little Crane 272 cam in it, and uh, 
Unfortunately, I let the one get away when I sold that stuff. But that's okay. And I am working on something else, which... I don't know. That motor will be built. It will be videoed during this time, but it may be shown later this year, like during the holidays. I want to see how it does before I share that, so we'll see. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to just keep on going with parts until I run out of parts or stuff, and uh, yeah, it's all you can do. You gotta keep the cat company, <laughs> don't we? Don't we, Goofy? Huh? Yep. So, yeah. It's amazing how much garbage I get. What? You saying hi? <laughs> you are a goof. You know that cat? Yeah, I know you are. Yeah, I just realized I got an oil pan up there that I could put on this motor, but I think that's where that one's going to go. I'm going to make that part of that motor. Sent to me to use, so I'll put it on that. Yeah, there's what's left of the woodworking stuff. I, mean, I kind of miss that. But I've had the TV going in the background, making noise, trying to stay away from the computer and the phone, phone as it goes off. Imagine that. Is that a text or Facebook? Well, oh, that's a text. Oh, okay. Just Mama Bear. Told her I got that one together, and she's like, nice. Uh... Oh, yeah, I was supposed to go do that. I'm supposed to go tar uh, time a motor. I helped save another Chevy pickup that was having issues. They were driving it, and it died. An 88 Chevy just died. They tried the distributor cap rotor, ignition module. They started thinking computer or fuel pump and all this and that. And uh, it ended up, it was the pickup coil. I sent them a couple of my old distributors, and they took them, and they stuck the one in, and it popped right off, which... Which I said, well, you know, I got a nice high-rise intake sitting right there, for one. That's all the old throttle body injection. If I could, I'd re-machine it to uh, fit a four-barrel, but, uh, yeah, that's not going to work, so. Yeah. So, stuff like that, I got to decide what I'm going to do with. Fuck okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you're a goofball, you know that? So, yeah, and I'm also out of timing chains. Since I had to put that different one in my chain, the two I had, the one went in the 80 over and the other one went in the race motor. Which I gotta go do paperwork on that. Start getting the, everything accounted for. So, yeah. But, I think our senior citizens are going to be the ones that have the toughest time with everything that's going on. For me, this has been, for me, going to the house and coming out here has been what I've done for years. It wasn't just till recently that I could start traveling and going places again. And there's the phone. Okay, everybody remember this?
cold-blooded. Remember that dirty motor when we had it on the stand? Let's see if we can. Yeah, look at that dirty thing. That's where the carb I've been using on the. Let's see, did we run it there? All right. Oh, I tell you. In here. Not that I need it in the shop. Oh, yeah, that's... Anyway, that dirty motor is... Don't look the same now, does it? That's the same motor in that Varios. This is that 69 motor that I converted and you can see the two holes right there and where that nicked the block when we drilled it for the adapters that I showed you guys earlier. Hey, I'm finding a bench by uh, put, putting, getting stuff used up. That's the adapter that went on that block. And uh, your dipstick went in here and then that sits down there on the block. So, yep. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna get some uh, Allen screws or something and thread seal them, put them in. But yeah, there it is. And yes, it looks very, very close to being done, but I'm out of head gaskets. I need a camshaft. I don't know where the rocker arms went to this motor. I can't remember if I saved them or not, but. Uh, yeah, there it is. Uh, the heads were the ones that father-in-law and I did years ago. As when he went to do the valves for me, he said there's all 16 guides have been replaced. He says everything looked great. So, but here, let's see what you guys can see. I look down. And I don't know what the heck that is. That showed up on my arm today. I haven't used any chemicals that would have burnt me or been around anything. I didn't pinch it. And I know it wasn't there this morning when I took my shower, so... I'm not sure what that's about. But anyway. Yep. That's going to be tomorrow's video or tomorrow's work anyway and as you can see I've got plenty of stuff because once this is together the 80 over has got to come off the stand I gotta find a place to put all this stuff which I'll probably kinda shove back into that corner over there and uh, get the 80 over off and on a stand, uh, roll around stand the storage stand so I can put the 383 on there but we need to get spark plugs and oil for this yet and so yeah but I have to keep an eye on that I, I don't know so anyway everybody I guess 20 some years later that motor there <laughs> I guess I might name <laughs> no, I won't do that. That's just kind of, no. Anyway, everybody, um, stay safe out there. And uh, if you got projects you can work on, just find something. That, sometimes the best thing to do is just shut off all news sources. Yes, it's good to be 
up on stuff and know what's going on but sometimes not knowing is better than anything so if you would continue I mean when I went to leave the farm last night there was nothing but depressing music being played on the radio couldn't find any uplifting music last night for the ride home I shut the radio off I haven't turned it back on today uh, you keep you keep listening to all this negativity it's going to get to you and yeah little problems become big problems but then big problems become major problems and major problems become crisis like what happened so sometimes no news is good news so but anyway I guess that is what it is so keep yourself busy keep thinking positive and keep uh, staying blessed See y'all later.